everyone. Today is the day that we are picking up some furniture pieces so I can finally create a bit of art space in our apartment together. So far we've been to Home Goods and I picked out a desk there that I just fell in love with. Originally I was going to get one from IKEA, which I'll go ahead and share a picture here of what that desk was, but when I ended up seeing it in person at, at IKEA, I didn't love it. It looked kind of like too small and flimsy and the material just didn't seem like it was high quality. I did buy a shelving unit from Ikea, which should hopefully be able to hold my giant printer, which is the Canon Pixma Pro 100. So I wanted to bring you guys along and I'm super excited because I have not been able to have like a place to call my own where I can create and do art. Like I always feel like I've had to lug all my stuff around. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Desk is in. This is all my other stuff, like my printer and stuff. That's my silhouette sticker machine, some more art stuff in there. That's part of what we got from Ikea. Here's more of the Ikea stuff. And then here's my office chair. It was on my wedding registry. It's from Target. Obviously this has a more modern look and this is kind of rustic, more traditional, but I still think in terms of color, it matches pretty well. And the height of it is perfect to just tuck in underneath this desk. Okay guys, I think this is as far as we're gonna go today. So basically, did not set up the Ikea situation yet. We'll get to that. And a lot of this stuff is gonna be placed on these shelves. So it still looks messy. These drawers surprisingly fit so much. Like I have a whole book of my pressed flowers and then I have like arches paper and a whole thing of Canson and then construction paper. These are my brushes. And then this has all my paints. Here is how far we've gotten with the Ikea Ivar. So there was some pretty good YouTube video to help us, but we still have to do the cross bar um, so that this is more stable because if you can see right now, it's still quite wobbly. I did get the Canon Pixma Pro 100 on the bottom here, so I knew how much space I needed before starting the next row right there. And it looks like it's holding the weight really well. And this printer is 43.2 pounds. The last screw for the crossbar. And, oh, it's very sturdy. And now it's totally sturdy. You know what I mean? Yay! That's cool, huh? This is usually the bag I store all of my pens, pencils um, in for art. Uh, and of course it's more of a travel setup. So now I'm gonna move it on over to, what is it called? Oh, this desk organizer that I bought from Target. Okay, this is how it looks. My sharpener, paper clips. This actually holds my paint brushes when I paint, it keeps them still. And this is for my paper cutter and masking fluid. So I think this is actually a really neat thing. I'm also gonna put my paint brushes here, I think, so that I can also get rid of this traveling case. Um, putting the brushes in here doesn't really work out because they kind of just fall in there and I don't want the shape of them to get messed up or anything. So I decided I'm going to move these Winsor and Newton watercolor markers into that thing. And then I'm gonna put the brushes in here. This actually works out a lot better for me to keep the markers in here. I like that this has the fancy case. Good decision. Just realized I used to put my paints in here 
Again, this is more travel friendly, so that's why I've always kept my paint in here. But now that I've got them in a drawer, I can actually move my markers, watercolor markers, that are in this bag into this thing. So let me go ahead and do that now. Wow, this worked out so well because I could not figure out where to keep all these markers where they would actually fit and this box is freaking perfect. And it looks so much more uh, neater than that tote bag. Okay everyone, here is the wood staining setup. I have all of my tools here. So I don't think I'll actually need this after watching some YouTube videos, but I had bought sandpaper. I'll see if I end up needing it on some bits. I got these disposable gloves, these sponges, and then uh, this wood stain is the color golden oak. I really hope this is enough to stain the whole thing. And then using a few of uh, Zohave's old Hanes stuff uh, as rags, essentially, if I need it. I'm thinking the sponges might be enough. I think I like this color. It doesn't look like, clearly it does look more golden than what the original color is, but I think I wanted darker and more of a deeper brown. I think I have to return this wood stain and get a different stain from Home Depot or Michaels because I don't think this is the one. It's breaking my heart to say that because <laughs> It's gonna be so frustrating having to go back and, and get another one, but I think I'll I think I'll be happier with it if I make this effort. They don't have a ton of options, so I think I am gonna go with aged wheat. That looks the closest to what I'm going for. I'm really hoping it's what I want. It looks more brown than gold, so let me go ahead and get started on this one. Okay, so this is where we are at right now. I feel like I have stained every area I could see. It looks good, I think. Like it looks better than the original color. But what I'm gonna do in about an hour from now, when this paint is supposed to be dry, is I'm gonna have Zohaib help me pop off each shelf and then paint anything I missed. All right, so this is the finished product after Zohaib and I undid the shelves and painted in every crevice that I could find. I think we'll get a better idea in the morning. I had watched other people's YouTube videos and they seemed to do it in so much more of a neat way. I made a total mess. All right, it's the next morning and this is how it's looking. Pretty nice. I will say that there are some sections that like if I had used sandpaper, it probably would have come out better, like here. Just to be frank, I was just really lazy. So that's the only reason I didn't use sandpaper. Otherwise, 
I would suggest using sandpaper first and then staining. Another thing is I was researching online and pine is actually like a cheaper wood. It's difficult to stain it without it having a blotchy effect is what I read. And I do notice that in some areas, like especially down there, where it is kind of blotchy, but I was not really looking for a super professional look. And truly, actually, my printer is so ginormous, my scanner is so ginormous, that these spaces are gonna be pretty covered once those things are on there. I did miss a spot, which is so infuriating. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it again or not. And as you can see, I missed it there. The legs were kind of a challenge. So I actually ended up fixing those two legs. It was gonna bother me way too much if I didn't do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I actually didn't know the scanner would be able to fit vertically like this. I thought it would have to be horizontal. I guess I like didn't get the dimensions right, but that means I have this entire side for even more space. Here is a video of my final art space, and I'm gonna talk through it really quick. So of course, this is the Ikea Ivar shelving unit, which has been a phenomenal asset to my space. Like, the fact that my giant Canon Pixma Pro printer can even fit and be held on this, like, this is awesome. I can lift up that whole thing and it still not hit the top. I can even push this backside down and not worry about it hitting the wall, which is really good too. My second section here is the Epson scanner. That's my silhouette portrait to print out stickers. This is my paper cutter and these are things that go with the silhouette. Over here, I have my printer paper. I have everything I would need for postage. I also have, you know, my flower press book, my sticker paper, extra watercolor paper. There's just so much space. Like I even have empty canvases I haven't used. And then up here, to be honest, are things I don't use very often but I don't wanna quite get rid of. Like this is my um, oil paints, which I have not dabbled in oil painting yet, but I want to one day. Um, these are watercolor pencils, glue. This stuff has all my gold leaf supplies. And then this has like fabrics and stuff I also haven't experimented with and watercolor markers. Next, I have my desk area, which starting here, this is actually just a box of scrap paper. This is my chair from Target. Still in love with this desk. So here is the drawer with my paints and paint palettes, uh, rulers, tape, uh, just things like that for easy access. So I have enough room here for a candle, a plant, my planner. I actually just did this sketch right now. That's my painting uh, ceramic plate. This holds brushes up. I'll try to find the link. I got this on Etsy to hold brushes while I paint. Couple glasses. My laptop fits on here. And then these are just, uh, well, that's something from a while ago from my friends and family. This is what I used to paint on, but now I'm just keeping it up here because I think it's fine to have it on display. And then this is a painting I did a while ago of San Francisco. And then I also have this little decor piece and I just put a few pieces of my work here. I realized I can use this gift basket from our wedding to put all the stuff that's up here on the top shelf of this in this basket so that it looks a little bit better up there. So I'm gonna try that and see how it looks. I actually also got these lights with this basket as well. So I'm gonna see what I can wrap it around for a cute look. 